Welcome to Vivid Brains. Today we are dealing with circles of CBSC class 10. Let us take excess 10.1. How many tangents can a circle have? This is the first question. How many tangents a circle has? Right. So if you take this is our circle, so circle has a center and we know that circle this is the circumference of the circle it, which has infinite points infinite points exist on the circumference of the circle we can say that so each point each tangent requires one point that means the the tangent can pass uh, on the circle through one and only one point. That is, a tangent touches the circle at only one point. So we can see that because it contains, the circumference of the circle contains infinite points, we can see that the circle, the circle have infinite tangents. Yes, let's go to the second question. Fill in the blanks. A tangent to a circle intersects it in a tangent say we are taking the tangent to a circle let us take a tangent so the tangent to a circle tangent means it has to touch at only one point so tangent to a circle intersects it and at only uh, it in one point a line intersects a circle in two points is called a dash. Now we are taking a line. A line intersecting a circle at two points. This circle is touching at only one point. The line which is passing, which is touching the circle at one point is nothing but tangent. But here the circle intersecting a line which intersecting the circuit. Say I am taking the line like this. So it is intersecting at two points, right? So if it intersects at two points, this can be called as a secant. What is this? This can be called as a secant. If the circle intersects at two points, this can be called as a secant. A circle can have dash parallel tangents at the most. Now, let us take our circle. How many tangents at the most? They are parallel. They are. Yeah. You see, here, if you observe, a circle can have, this is one tangent I can draw. And this is another tangent at most, right? So, a circle can have, a circle yeah. can have, at most, can have two parallel tangents at most. The common point of a tangent to a circle and the circle is called the common point of a circle, the common point of a tangent. So, this is our circle. This is our circle. In a circle, the common point of a tangent to a circle. So this is the tangent we are drawing. Let us draw one tangent here. You can observe that this is our tangent of tangent to a circle. So this is this is one point on the circle. So this can be called as point of contact point of contact. Next, a tangent PQ at a point of a circle, a tangent PQ at a point of a circle, let us draw one circle. This is our circle. A tangent PQ at a point P of a circle. Let us take one point P. 
this is a point on P on the circle. We are drawing one tangent PQ. So this is our PQ line. This is our PQ line, PQ. P, a tangent PQ. This is a no doubt tangent PQ because it is touching at only one point. It is going, if the line is passing or touching the circle at one point, no doubt this is a PQ is a tangent. Okay. Uh, and the radius of radius 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter meets a line through center O at point Q. Say this is our center. Let us draw this P here. That's right. And this is our center so that the radius is given as 5 centimeters and OQ. This OQ is given as this is our center O. OQ is given as 12 centimeters and they are asking to find PQ. Okay. Yes. So you observe the circle. This is the circle, a circle, and this is the tangent. No doubt, because if you draw a, if you, the radius with the tangent always makes 90 degrees. So this triangle OPQ is a right angle triangle. Okay. Triangle POQ is a right angled triangle. A right angle triangle. We from this we can apply Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem says by Pythagoras theorem we can we can say by Pythagoras theorem. What is Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem is hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Side square plus side square. What is hypotenuse here? 12 square is equal to 5, 5 square plus PQ square. So that we can easily calculate our length of the tangent that is PQ. This is 144. If you send this 5 square to this side, minus 25. A length of PQ they are asking. 144. Twelve square is equal to the tangent PQ at point P of a circle and radius P of a circle and radius five centimeters meets through center at at a point Q. 